Welcome back to Sports Mania. We are here on the ninth episode. Coming up on this edition, we got EA Sports MMA. We got some FIFA 14, the U.S. Open Cup, and we got two weeks of high school football action, including the return of Teva Ricca. That's going to be big. Also, we got some Madden franchise, some more college basketball. The privateers will try to snap that losing streak. And we got some NHL 17. I'm looking forward to next year, even though it's a long season. If y'all want to join that team, let me know. And we got some more RPFL week three this time, along with the triple threat wrestling. The women's championship belt is on the line, so that will be another good one. But we start this thing off with the RPFL, the conference clash, the Northern versus the Southern Conference, and the Silverbacks haven't scored all season until now. They get their first points of the season. It took them three games, but they took the lead in this one, 7-3, and then they came out balling on the defensive side they get the pick right there off of mercer mercer couldn't believe it maybe underestimated these boys but watch this third and one they go up 14 to three so the, the generals are shocked right now and raz they just lost the football they had recovered but they had to punt it away and then the generals would play a little defense and of course uh south beach to punt it back and that will allow them to drive down the field. Mercer finds Chris Smith, gets the first down, down at the three yard line, and then the defense catch another pick. Two sacks, three hurries, and two interceptions for this defense at that point. Parks was fired up. Now we in the fourth quarter. Mercer said, I'm tired of this. He finds his favorite receiver, that's Smith. On that play, that's Smith again for another first down. He's probably looking for Smith one more time, but the defense say no more Smith for you. We sick of this. 14-3. to three. The Silverbacks get their first win. The Blaze versus the Detroit Cougars. We will start this thing off with the kick. Robert Sloan will take this thing from the 13-yard line. Broke free. Showing the speed. Got a lot of speed. Crosses midfield. Into Miami territory then Dwayne White will do the rest right here gets inside the 20 yard line with that fake pitch pulled the whole defense they couldn't score but they settled for three they got the three three nothing Detroit so White throws quick throw broke some ankles first down this time they will pitch it out this is Chauncey Avery spin move I don't need no hole I make my own holes and he is gone nobody gonna catch him high stepping Touchdown. Detroit smoking. Look at this play again. The stiff arm. Look at the, stiff, look, the spin move. He hit like three feet at the same time. Come on, man. Terrence Martin will get picked off right here. The defense gives the ball back to the O. And then the direct snap. Avery. Oh, man. Untouched. Fired up. 17 nothing. Detroit. Terrence Martin will get picked off again. And this one is going to the house. That's our first pick six in a RPFL. I want to say I might be wrong. But Martin throwing downfield, trying to move the ball. His tight end will come up injured. Jermaine Cooley will not return in this game. And it was so bad they tried to do a fake field goal. They couldn't convert that either. 24 nothing. But look at those numbers, man. That is so ugly. Both of the quarterbacks. That's bad. But the Florida Red Wolves are coming out to face the Bearcat. Seneca Rawls finds his tight end for this touchdown. They strike first in the Bearcat. Try to do some trick. Everybody try to run trick plays against the Red Wolves. It don't work. Why y'all keep trying it, man? So Rawls will run play action. Pump fake goal. Made his first mistake. Threw it right to the linebacker like he didn't see him. Borders with an easy pick right there. Seven nothing Red Wolves. Rawls the next time. Buying time finds a wide open receiver. 14 nothing Red Wolves. You don't want this team on top with a lead. So here we go. Amari Best got hit. Easy interception for the linebacker. And then Rawls, can you put more points up? He finds his favorite target. 21 to nothing. The Bearcats are in trouble. So Rawls coming back with another possession. Buying time, man. Finds his receiver on the sideline. Then he rolls to his left. Throwing down the field. He gets picked off that time. And that will lead to this. Play action. Best. Oh, man. They was driving. 
picked off by Robinson. Can you believe that's a defensive end running like that? The most athletic defensive end in the league. High stepping and everything. 28 to nothing. They will get a touchdown right there, but it was just too much. Too much. The Red Wolves are looking unstoppable. Oakland County are back. Atlantic Sharks. Somebody about to get their second win. Who would it be? Stephen Hudson. Can you survive a game this time? He hooks up with his receiver right there. Thought that ball was going to get picked off. But the luck is on their side right now. So what will happen? The next possession. Hudson hit as he throws. Set up a quick screen. I love the setup. Crosses midfield. Picks up the first down. Nice setup to that play. Then Hudson. 6-7. Why are you running the option anyway? Fumbles the ball. Defense recovers. So the Sharks are attacking now. Sharks recover that ball and Fisher will go to work. They blitzed him and everything. Found his receiver at the one yard line that will set up an easy touchdown run to tie the game at seven. So, seconds left in the first half and they score. Stephen Hudson, that's what happens when he stays in the game. Play action, Hudson, this is the second half now. Finds a receiver who stumbles, stays on his feet and will score right to put them up 21 to seven. Fourth quarter now. Fisher will hook up with Carswell to cut the lead to seven. But, oh my goodness. Ashton Irvin broke free again. Every week he breaks a long run. That probably just put it away. Yes, it did. Fisher will get tangled up. Sacked at the goal line, but right here they're gonna get another sack. And get the safety, 30 to nothing. But now, time for that high school football. There he is, Tevo Ricker. Yes, he was a high school running back. Why do you think he got the running skills from? Tevo Ricker this time stiff on one defense. Jukes inside. Brock Kelly couldn't break him down. And they will get three out of that drive. But Reese Vaughn picked off by Dash right here. Dash giving it back to the offense. What will they do with it? Winchell, he will get picked off. So they don't want the ball either. Hermian has a lot of weapons, so they really shouldn't be giving the ball away like that. They have a lot of weapons to work with. Winchell, this time, he will keep it himself. Why would you do that? That's not what you do. You pitch it out to Ricker. You pitch it out to Boobie Miles. What are you doing, man? Brock Kelly was the one who forced that fumble, but Lisa Vaughn threw another pick. My goodness. Two interceptions for Permian so far. Dash will score this touchdown to put Permian up 10 0. Once you're like, hey, that's more like it. 30 seconds, seconds remain in the first half. Savon will hand it off to Butter. You know what he do. It's so hard to tackle him. Butter, 20, 15, 10, 5, high stepping, touchdown. Score before the half. Now, second half. Savon, can you hold on to the ball? No, he won't. That's his third pick. My goodness, Savon, do something with this offense. Winchell will lose the ball again. My, they need to start running the option for real. Winchell will throw this time. Hooks up with Sticky inside the power line. That is a touchdown, 17 to seven. Fourth quarter now. I can't believe it's not Butter, but it is Butter. Broke three tackles, still on his feet, hurdling. Stiff song, finally dragged out of bounds. You see his stats just under 300 yards on the season. Savon will throw off his back feet. Picked off by Chavez. Permian get their first win. Ryan Dunn back on the channel. Lance Bridges. Let's see what DC can do. He started off. That was Jake Dakin with that catch. But driving downfield is an easy pick for DC. So Beeman, Steeman Beeman, what are you going to do? Third and 10, throwing, finds his target. That's Demetrius Harris. Demetrius Harris, seven, nothing. So Kevin McConnell throws, finds Rosnowski for that touchdown. That was right at the half, end of the half. So McConnell, second half, pitches it out to Finger Rules, who gets the first down. This time he will hand it off to Finger Rules. Easy touchdown. Walks in. Celebrating with his team. 14-7. Yes, it is. Third, fourth quarter. What would they do? 
Down seven. Oh man, the defense got gashed. Harris breaks the tackle, got blocking downfield. Ties the game at 14. Three minutes remaining. Willie Beeman going downfield, finds his tight end who goes up for that one. Beeman throwing. This is how you end the game. Touchdown. They gave it to him. I'm going to show this replay one more time. One elbow, one knee. They gave him something, but it definitely scored a touchdown. Wow, that was so close. Darnell Jefferson fired up for this one. But he is not the running back of this game. We came here to watch Demetrius Sanders, the hottest running back in the league. Sanders, big play Demetrius, man. Probably going to the BFL right out of high school. How about that? But Ray Barry said, hey, why y'all recruiting him? Don't forget about me. 14 nothing. Toronto goes up over Woodlawn. Can't we do Will Woodlawn have an answer for that? Bernard Gross going deep down the field for the pass is broken up by Papian. Kenneth Papian playing center field did everything right on that play except catch the ball. I mean, he could have picked it off. It came right to him. But Gross throwing. Hooks up with his tight end that was green right there. That was set up marble one. Cuts the lead down to seven. 14 7 Toronto. Then Gross has a chance to drive down the field gets his receiver kill that was Cameron Morgan he will not return in this game left the game with bruised ribs so they gotta finish the game without him end of the second half 18 seconds remaining Gross had time oh looked like Green put a move on Papian was wide open tied the game at 14 so 8 seconds remaining Falco goes down the field who does he find who else will he find it's Sanders Matched up on the safety. That is a bad matchup. 21 14 at the half. Second half now. Darnell say, hey man, I'm the running back out here. Y'all need to be watching. Trucking people. Dragged out of bounds. Just under 400 yards on the season. So gross. Throwing. Hooks up with Green down to the two yard line. That will lead to three. They knock that through. 21 17. Toronto still up. But they have to kick it off to this man, Demetrius Sanders. Why would you kick it to him at this point? He already showed you he's dangerous, spinning, juking, truck the man. Nobody's in front of him, and you're not going to catch him from behind. Toronto about to go up 28 to 17. Ridiculous. So the fourth quarter, will this thing get more exciting? Not really, Ray Barry, but about to put an end to this thing rumbling down to the six yard line and that will lead to Sanders breaking through arm tackles you better put a good hit on him 35 17 that's Toronto is up at the end of the game this is how you end the game one-handed pick by Papian that was beautiful probably one of the plays of the year but they got something better coming up welcome back Mason Smith and Miami Catholic look at Showtime back on the field man I'm ready to do this let's do it Noel Booker will take this thing from the gun and Showtime say don't throw it on this side boy you must not know about me don't throw it on this side but Booker say I don't care about you I'm throwing it anyway this time hooks up with a big play Hudson on that play and Booker will run play action will go on that side again Showtime said man I told you don't throw it this way Picked him off. That's the first mistake of this game. And that will lead to this. Earl Maggot gashed him up the middle. Right up the gut. 7 nothing. kill. Patrick goes on. Goes up top. So Booker thrown. Picked off again. The defense all over him. They're not playing no games today. That will lead to Whitehead. Time in a pocket. Finds its receiver. To put them up 14 nothing. So Booker, can you respond under all kinds of pressure? Duck one man, but couldn't duck the second one. And that will force them to punt with Cuddy back deep. You know Cuddy got elite speed and you give him some blocking is all over. He will get that blocking. They act like they didn't want tackle, so he gonna show that speed. Cuddy, 21 nothing. Kilpatrick. And now Kilpatrick at the end of the first half. Whitehead will end, hook up with Showtime who gets this one in the end zone. 28 nothing with 46 seconds remaining. End of the second half, end of the first half. I'm sorry, Booker will try to get some points. He gets picked off by Ray Smith. Ray Smith will put on a nice return, but they're going into the half. 28 nothing. 
Now it's crunch time. Fuck what can you do? Can't do nothing because they blitzed him all night not playing no games. Fuck a pump fake going downfield. Finally connect with Joe Gronkowski. And that will lead to three. So at least they didn't get blank. They put some points on the board. Book on his next possession. Buying some time. Throwing big play right at the three yard line. And that will set up this. Booker will keep it himself. Scores a touchdown. Maybe you need to do a lot more yourself. Just start running the whole game. A minute 30 remaining. Booker finds big play inside the 10 yard line. And then Booker looking for somebody. Nobody's open. He will go down. Chase Mahoney on that sack. The defense with three sacks on this day. And then Chase Mahoney gets him again. That's his third sack of the game. Booker couldn't do nothing in that last try. Two and one, Feel Gilpatrick. Some details about these fighters. Liga de Combate debut and Frank with that comes up. He shoots in and... He's trying to control the arm, but one arm is free, and that's all you need. Oh, man, I can't believe he's just tapped out. He has won via submission. This is what we call an upset. And the numbers with the rock star tail of the tape. He shoots in for the tape. Keep it up. Oh, man, we just started it already. He's down. Ow. Defense being showcased here against that head kick. Oh, another knockdown. He just cracked him. He's very dominant in his hands. That boxing background, so he's excellent with his anger. And his oh, man. It... Tail of the tape. He does a great job of preventing takedown. Throwing those legs out and keep... Oh, wow, he's going for the submission. Can he cinch it in? He looks like he might have it here. Oh, he was looking to end it. Oh, and he's pounding him now. These strikes are getting hit. I can't believe it. It's over. The ref has stopped this fight. What an incredible TKO. Hi, everyone. Moving it now up the wing. Help to Tifoli. Nicely into the zone. Goose score! He gets in. What will he do? Five minutes, 57 seconds. Got it in the slot. Terrific sense. On to strong shooter against a strong that's answered by the pad. Nice move to shake on through. He's alone. Superb. Save by quick. And in deep. Pointed to Scuderi. Terrific. Go! Oh, that's more than your normal rub out. Big point left. Stays on side to the middle. Scorches one. Score! And that is his first. He's had his chance. Great pad stop. Put his pads together and got collected by Kopitar. Played on. He scores! Four unanswered goals. Moved along and in. Brings a shot. Wow, what a glove save. It's to Martinez. It's blocked. Delayed penalty call. Oh, wonderful play. Gathered up again by Miriam Gabbert. Score! A goal on the power play. Up the wing, making some headway. Loose to Shore. Directing that one to Pearson. Shot! Score! A power play goal yet again. It's not a full two minutes, five on three, but it might be enough. He scores! Drew Doughty! Wins. The puck now possessed by Muzzin. 
blue line control. And that one turned aside. Good step in there for possession. He got it in. Terrific love save. Rounded again. Chris shot. Got that. Tremendous. Got a penalty on his mind here. Delayed call. Oh, what a great hit on it. All right, we back for week five, and this time Tweet about to make his appearance. 2-0 West Canaan trying to put something on DC. We will start this thing off with some defense. Dave Lawson always around the ball. Harris not happy with that. Mox will run option. Emmanuel spinning in the end zone, but Mox goes down, injures his head on the play. He will return later. So Willie Beeman this time picked off by Dave Lawson, always around the ball, some kind of way. So that would lead to Paul Crew. Had a man open. Maybe that's why he lost his starting job. Because he couldn't connect with plays like that. So Beeman on the pressure. Get sacked right here by Joe Burks. Burks with three sacks on the season. That will lead to three points that they couldn't even convert on that. So, Arthur Savage say, hey, we don't need three points on our side when you got me. Savage, killing it at fullback. Big play. 17 nothing. Kyle Yodas. Willie Beeman will get picked off by Lee Fortner. Did y'all see that pick? I don't know if you didn't. You're about to see it because I'm going to slow it down for you. Lee, Lee Fortner. Look at, look at the one-handed catch on the sideline, man. Come on. Mox was driving. Broken up by Lance Bridges. So that will have, they will force to kick the field goal. They get three points. So here come DC. They driving. Willie Beeman under pressure. Picked off by Jake McClure. This defense is nasty. 20 to nothing. Come on. Mox thrown. That's what crew couldn't do. 27 to nothing. Coyote is rolling. Fourth quarter now. Emmanuel spinning. Stiff on. Are you serious? Broke another tackle. Chased by Ryan. Down. Would he get caught? Yes, he will. Inside the 10. Right at the 9 yard line. And that will set up Murphy. Defensive tackle at fullback. What is going on? West Keenan. 3 0. Buenos Aires Jaguars. 0 1 versus Manassas. Somebody got to win this thing. The Jags. McConnell going downfield. Jake Dakin with a catch. This time McConnell throwing a pick off by the 6-3 corner. Look at this play. Looked like he had him. He should have threw it up over top of the 6-3, man. He could play like that. McConnell this time in the next possession goes downfield. Hooks up with Rosnowski at the 10-yard line. That was set up Israel Burton. Easy touchdown. Burton puts them up 7 nothing. So Walter Cochran getting involved. Breaking tackles. Spinning inside the 10, shy of the six yard line. That will set up JR, easy touchdown, 7-7. Seven, seven. We have a ball game. Let's do this, third and eight for David Favre. Favre has time, he throws, finds his receiver, 14. Third and 12 for Kevin McConnell, he throws and he's picked off by the defense. With a minute 47 remaining, McConnell driving, thrown across the field. What are you doing, man? Shiloh will try to stop Demetrius Sanders. Can he do it, though? I don't know. Savon under pressure gets sacked by Todd Winstead. Winstead, his first sack this game. So Falco. Under pressure himself off his back foot. Wow, that should have got picked off, but no, he had a little luck on the side. So Sanders, no, 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 no. Julian Veal, they not having it. Shiloh, Brock Kelly, stop Sanders in the backfield. Sanders was frustrated in his first half. They pitch it out to him, but DJ Drew right there. DJ Drew all over it. So they would try to throw it to him, get him involved in this game. No, nope, Brock Kelly on that. So Shallow shutting him down. So later in the game, Shallow will punt it away to Shane Kilpatrick, who broke a tackle, hurdled another, making moves in the open field, but nobody's left to juke out. So he would just run in the end zone. Seven nothing Cougars. Weapons on top of weapons. So Savon, can you answer? 
Got some time. Bought enough hit as he throw. Got his man. That's Corn Waters Jr. And then Savon throwing. DJ Drew touchdown. I don't know how that didn't get picked. But they had a little luck on their side. So 50 something seconds left in the first half. And Demetrius Sanders finally broke free. Chased by Drew. Forced out of bounds with 50 seconds remaining. Now 11 seconds remaining. Falco off his back foot. Hooks up with his tight end. And that will settle. That will lead them to this field goal. 10 7 at the end of the first half. One second remaining, they kick it to Corn Waters, and Waters will do the rest. Nice blocking. Nobody will catch him. Mac Taylor chasing. Nah, bro. That is it. Junior, 14 10, right before the end of the half. So, second half now. Demetrius Sanders, they let him get loose. Sanders doing his thing. Forced out of bounds by Gray Davis. Wow, 54 yards after contact. They will settle for three and they get it in just barely, but they got it in. They down one. Shiloh, Savon, throwing. Hooks up with Waters. Book a tackle. Are you kidding me? Waters Jr., don't matter what game you put him on, he beats it anyway. 21 13. Shiloh about to upset Toronto. What's going on? Not just yet. Felco hooks up with his receiver to cut this lead down to two. They will go for the conversion. Sanders falls forward. Ties the game at 21. So we have a serious ball game. The Savon goes deep. Hooks up with Rio with a defender all over him. Didn't matter. Savon rolling. Finds DJ Drew inside the 20. Savon will look for Drew again and he has him moving the sticks. That will lead to this field goal though. Andrew Savon knocked it through so Shiloh is up with less than two minutes. Falco, can he respond? This is big time Shane Falco. Finds his receiver inside the 30. Then Sanders, oh my. Fumbles the ball, all he gotta do is fall on it. Wow. They could have ended the game right there. So what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen. Touchdown. Shiloh could have put this thing away. They let Toronto get in this game and take the lead. Here we go. Shot pass to Rio. That was an awful play. And they let the clock run down to four seconds before they took a timeout. That's just bad. Bad clock management. Everything is bad about that final drive. Hit by Winstead as he threw it. 3 and 0 for Toronto. Looking good. Showtime out there getting them reps with Whitehead. Taking on undefeated, undefeated TC. It will punt it away. Who's back there? The dangerous one. Evan Polk will take it inside the 10 yard line. Polk stiff forming. Broke the tackle, spinning. They won't bring him down. Stop at midfield. Big return. 40 yard return right there. Then Trey Coleman rolling to his right. Hit by Chase Mahoney. Ball came free. Recovered by the offense. And a holding play. But that will lead later in the game to this punt. They will punt it again. Evan Polk had a big return the first one. What you think he going to do on this second one? Showing the elite speed up the left sideline. Don't worry about it. 7 nothing. Titans go up first. They score first. But they will kick it all. Look, Earl Maggot looking for that back to back. Maggot juking, looking like he got user control out there. 40, 30, 10, 5, touchdown, high stepping, but hold up, bro. Flag on the play, bring it back. So, Whitehead, you know what's going to happen. Yep. Picked off by Wally every time it happens, every time. So, Neil Davis. We'll give it right back. Picked off by Cuddy. That's his second six, his second pick on the season. And Davis will throw on his next offensive possession. Finds Trent Hurley who won't be caught. Big touchdown for the Titans to go up 14-0. Trying to stay perfect. But Neil Davis throwing off his back foot. Got picked off. Can't be throwing passes like that. That's too wild. That will lead to Whitehead throwing a pick. Picked off by Ronnie Bass. But can he take advantage of it? No, nah, they didn't. But this time they will. 
crazy wild option, the stupid decisions by the offenses on this game. Still 14 nothing. Wow, you see what just happened right there. A muff punt by Cuddy. A walk-in touchdown. Easy 3-0. this match I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was simply amazing so disaster re retains her belt what kind of Steven Baker level no touchdown no passing yeah, touchdowns on the season here. just yet we'll hand off the bell cow on this one that drive ended early so now Peyton right man and plan for throw. Jacksonville hooks up with Ryan Carter with his touchdown. Big head bastard dancing on us like that. Ryan Carter, 47 yard touchdown reception. That will lead to Steven Baker. Sets up the screen to Kendrick. Who can score? He didn't score. So Baker will do it himself. Everybody jammed up in the middle. Steven Baker, oh, that is so stupid. Could have just ran in the end zone. So that will lead to Bell Cow again. Third and goal. Couldn't punch it in. Five, four, three, two, one. No timeouts. Oh my, that is awful. Second half now. A Sanders get punished. 
can't run on his defense. Peyton Manning will get punished. Third and seven. Third and nine for our squad. Saunders, nice catch right there. Then Baker looking. Not comfable throwing it. He will take off. Picks up his first down. And that will lead to Baker. Getting sacked. And that will force a fourth and 25. Jacksonville not playing no games. Will we be able to win this thing? So it starts right here with that punt. Pent them on a one yard line and the defense does the rest. Get the safety. Seven to two, still down by five. So we get started. Trendon Holloway will take the punt, making moves. Holiday getting around that left side, stay inbounds. Oh man, we had a chance right there. For Baker going downfield, he feeling good. Double coverage, feeling too good, but no. Abel comes down with it. Jeremy Abel, he's only like 5'9", went up and got the ball. This is what I want my first round pick to do. Just, just catch some of those, give a brother a break. But there he is right there, just speaking of him. OG go up for that ball. Get on the board to take this lead. Two point conversion fail. So seven to eight. How often do you see that score? Peyton Manning with the pick off right here by lockdown. Lockdown will return it back to the 45 yard line. Manning thought he had him for lockdown. Using that height, attacking the ball at the highest point. Giving it back to offense who can run this clock out now. Let's do this. Bell Cow picks up the first down. Yes, that is ball game. Eight to seven, ugly, but I'll take it. Our next game against the Seahawks. Steven Baker taking this thing from the gun. Baker gets sacked from behind. Man, you gotta step up in the pocket, man. This time he will throw to the end zone and that's Jeremy Abel. Look like we have our number one receiver right there. Jeremy Abel, 24 yard touchdown reception. Then Drew Brees came out on the field in a Seahawks jersey. Nah, you should be ashamed of yourself. Let's kill him. You're wrong for putting on that jersey. So, Baker, next offensive possession going down the field. Brandon Brown was all over it. Should have had it. Should have had a pick right there. But we get the ball back and Kendrick trips over an offensive lineman. That should have been an easy touchdown for Baker. No problem. Finds his rookie receiver. Making the plays that we've been waiting for. That's what we've been waiting for. Two touchdowns. That's career high for him right there. Two touchdowns in one game. So Drew punished. Punish him. He got on the wrong jersey, Drew. And Marshawn Lynch got loose. Lynch, biggest play of the game for Seattle. Marshawn Lynch with a big run. He gonna pay for that run later, though. They couldn't convert the field goal, so still scoreless. But next time out, Breeze finds Hatcher. Probably Matthew Hatcher on that play. And Breeze running a read option? Kill him. Mm, don't you dare. Should have knocked this helmet off, but you can't. So Marshawn will have to pay for it. Knocked him out the game. Bringing the back up. One down. We got to get Breeze out there next. Turbin will take this hit. Looked like he looked like he was having a seizure on the ground. Look at him. Boy, spent the round and everything. This time they will get the field goal. To cut the lead to 11, but we on offense. Steven Baker going downfield, didn't see the safety. Easy pick for Williams. Took a hit by Belkow, but he held on to it. Drew Brees throwing. Finds the receiver. Larry Fitzgerald, are you serious? But Brees ran the re option again. This time we got him out there. Should have got out the first time. Three more points for Seattle. They make it. 14 to 6, so they within 8. And then Kendrick getting some blocking. Good blocking downfield. Kendrick stays in bounds. Big run for him. And that was set up. Baker, play action. Had his target, but he missed him. Tried to throw it to him late. And guess what? 
picked off by Brandon Browner. Browner, easy pick. Should have been the second, but he bring that one in. And they didn't do nothing with the ball. They give it back to us. Lance Kendrick falls short of the first down. Bell Cow will pick up the first. He definitely winning this game. Trying to get Bell Cow in the end zone. It didn't work. Second and goal. We got him in. 21 to 6. Last week, and you pick up another victory here today. It, it's just awesome. Oh, the tape. Well, it didn't take long. He dumps him on up. Freeman puts the jab in his face. Oh, and he stops him with that punch. He quickly moves to his left. Oh, oh and he stops him with that punch. Nicely executed rear front kick. He's unable to land that rear front kick. Give us the numbers on this much anticipated rematch. Casamatis. Oh, he drops him against the cage. He slaps your front kick to the buck. He sticks him with the teeth. Executes the front kick. The teeth looking to gauge the distance. He's looking for the submission. Oh man, this might be it. There's the tap and the rematch. Been decided. It is all over, and we've just seen it. Evans has got to keep himself in check. He could have an outcome in this game. Posa, terrific open ice hit. The defense even. Good place to shoot from. And he steps across the line. A shot. Just couldn't find, just missed the shot. Let's it go. Give that goal and he scores! Moved along and in. From the outside. Steps between the circles. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. A collision, but still has the puck. Glides across. Hammered. Painful block shot there. Van Riemsdyk's got no weight on his one leg as he limps his way back to the bench after that. It's to his stratospheric penalty total again. He's going to go sit, turn away from too many hits. As a result, he has among the highest hit total. Work with the pad. Evans loses that puck while faking in the offensive zone. He tried a great chance. Nicely into the zone. Puts one on. Deflected. Lugged ahead from the defensive zone. Gains the blue line. Shoots one. Grab. Hook is thrown to Tutu. He's alone. Oh, that's a great save by Jack. The scrap is over. And now the penalties for sure. Maybe repairs. Kruger. Two guys together with force. Big force. Well, guys, he didn't see him coming until the last minute. That's a pretty solid contact. Flings it. He scores! No hesitation at all. He fired home that wrist shot. Crawford's glove hand looked like it had a hole in it there. It went right through. Chicago's got that win. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Terrific point blank save. You don't get many better opportunities than at his own end headed towards center. And they are in. Shot, score! And it's a one goal game. Does it go? Oh, what a great block. That hit somebody. Panarin. Down again. He has been corked numerous times. And it's driven away. Let's it go. Not through. Buck 
is picked up by Keith. Oh, what a mean, mean hit that one was. That's probably going to bring an answer. Score! And the game is even. To Taves. Tip to the net. They can't find the target. You have to give yourself a chance. That puck cannot miss the net like that. Good work there. They'll have to try it again because of the defender's stick. Oakville's carrying it up the wing. Sneaks in. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Laid on to Ryan. And the fight ends with one resounding punt. Just that pass. And he gains the zone. He's through. And the loose play deep. Shoot. Guarded the goal again. Puck collected by Kruger. Gets that pass after he himself had passed. The glove like lightning. Be the second most important when this game ends. Intermission is next. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Breakaway! Score! And the overtime is finished! And that's it. The game is over. Conference matchup. Some of the most anticipated games on a team schedule by the non-conference game. Is it up? And has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Hey. He takes a three. He takes another bad shot. That shot's killed. Gar. He throws it up from downtown. They are struggling from trifecta lane so far. He looks for three. The missed shot. Tries for two. He fires away. It'd be nice if he could get some assist shot. Shoots from outside. Off the mark. And a slam. The nice high pick. Can't connect. Quinn pulls down the offensive rebound. They work the perimeter. From three-point land. They got it. Tries the three ball. Buries the from the top of the circle. Man, he used a perfectly timed reach. Missed the jumper. Tickles it wide. Hard foul. He gets the foul, and the layup will count. The shooting guard takes the pass and score it. Kicks it out from beyond the arc. Busts the jumper with lots of room. Plus the J. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. He shoots from the deep corner. Gets the... He goes for three. They get it to go. Work really excellent. Blocked. Nice jump. <laughs> Blocks the shot. For the bucket. Makes the shot. From the top of the circle. Scores it away. Nails a sweet jump. He shoots from the top of the key. Marys. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make Gets the feed down low. Tempo team, Dick. What are the components that make up a good up-tempo team? Up-tempo team. He shoots from outside. He got his jumper. Turnover. Pushing in transition. Makes the block. Now looking for a basket in transition. He puts up the tray. Gets the J to fall. Have a chance. Quick scores of pressure defense. They just help their kids. Bad. He attempts the three. He makes the jump. Picks off the pass. The privateers are on the run. For the bucket. He can't get the bucket to fall. He buries the shot. He takes the shot. Nice shot. Or go against you enough to blow your game. For the deuce. Nice job. Dumps it in. At least bad shots have a chance of going in. Momentary look from three-point land. He puts it up. He knocks down. He is going to the line. Buries it. Dick Bob. Makes the second shot. Bye.
everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Dick Vitale, and welcome to the beautiful island of Maui for this first star starting lineup. Hey, when you're putting together your starting five, you don't always need to put your five most down. Launches away. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Number 10, it's inferior play. Open shot. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help. Number four is whistled for the foul. Six. Got to take some pride on his defensive end. Kicks it out. Fires away. And score it. Up and inside. Unloads a three. Gets the J. He looks for three. Busts the J. Stripped. Active hands. Now looking to attack. For the bucket. Makes it. Pushes it up. Fade away. Nails the fatal. He wants a three. They get it to go. From three-point range. The privateers have to communicate. He shoots from the corner. Nails the jet. Goes up for two. Gets it to full. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basket. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, waste any. Goes up for two. He hits the shot. Oh, yes. He can't get any more open than that. They got it. Spotting up on the three-point line. He puts up the tray. It's the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really... Goes up for two. He buries. Ability coming. For the bucket. Buried it. Up. With that high screen guy wants to use that high screen. Good jump out. And over the top. That's how you want to guard. Handles the feed. Looks at a three. Bust the J. The privateers can't afford and a chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, thing. It's well executed two-man game. It's always a treat to watch. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He makes the J three. Gets the pass. Fakes it. Goes up for two. It sticks. Number four picks up the foul. Sixteen foul. Cross court. He tries the three. Knocked it down. Feet apart. About four minutes remaining. He drained. Block shot. Loose ball. Great play. He shoots from outside. Knocks it down. And a momentary look from three-point land. Nestler, they like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Dick, what they need now is a quick scrap. That's going to be charging. I disagree, but... Well, you can put round one in the books. Join us tomorrow for more tournament coverage. It's been a fun game. I'm sure both teams would rather be on the other side of the bracket, but nevertheless, it's early in the season and it's all... Now looking to create with a ball screen. And a pick and roll is one point. Up. Turnover by the senior. The privateers are on the run. And the slam. From way outside. I wonder if he's up. For the bucket. Buried it. For two. He drains the shot. In action, Mr. Nestler. He looks for three. Number five. Tries for two. Man, he lured the defense. He shoots from the corner. They got it. Tries a three. Scores a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. There's a slam. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Shoots from outside. They got it. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice try. He shoots from the corner. Scores. He tries the three ball. He drew a post. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He misses the jumper. Off the glass and no good. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I step in it, man. But he's for a half point. There's the rejection.
He buries the... This has always been an excellent free throw shooting burden. Nice pop. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Ball forward with the ball. He goes for three. Nails the jilly. Makes the offense think twice about putting the shot up. It's really almost as good as a block. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet up. For two. With a layup. He tries the three. Gets the J to fall. He unloads a three. He makes the... Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. With the layup. On the left side. The missed shot. That's space. He attempts the three. Scorches the net with... And we'll go to the free throw line. First shot. It... Hits the second shot. So. Tries the three. They got it. He goes to the line for the first time. Good. Gets the second shot. They changed things up a little bit, Brad. He throws it up from downtown. seconds now on the shot clock. A little shake of making to use that high post screen. Cross court. With lots of room. Knocks it down. For two. Oh yes. The game's tempo. Well Brad, as the meter indicates, the game has been pretty balanced. Not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they... He puts up the tray. Knocks on the outside. He shoots from the corner. He goes for three. Excellent jump shot. Run. And the jam. On the wing. He shoots from the top of the key. Pressure here, Dick. Goes up for two. No good. He hammers it home. Working it around the perimeter. Buries it. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Shot. Buries it home. Oh, no time for lessons, Brad. They gotta start knocking him down before it's too late. Pushing in transition. For the bucket. The layup is good. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Kicks it out. He lets it fly. Nails the sweet jumper. Up and inside. He shoots from the deep corner. Knock. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And come up short. He buries. Tries for two. Was that beautiful? On the left side. The three. He knocked. On the left side. For two. With a layup. For the bucket. That's good. Every team, and we hope that it continues as they shift their focus to the rest of the season. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody. Lights beaming down from the night sky. So without further ado, we're off to Washington. Your comedy team, Martin Tyler and... Goalkeepers have to be struck. He's had a go. Very well. across. And hits it. 
really good try to try and get. He's in there with a the header. Could it be? So that's another goal from a player that they've brought in for this season. And it was a very wise move, Alan. I think it was. He's uh, done himself justice. He's uh, moved in a good position here. Could be a goal. So I thought he was going to get a chance to show. Embracing the world game. Now. Takes the shot off. He's got there. That leads to the shot. Well, the corner cut out there. So they might pay for that. Well, he has a go. He's reached it and he's caught it with it. He shoots. The goalkeeper keep the ball forward. Close range shot. Well, how has he done that? Surely he's going to score here. Shot's on him. He's got to score. Here's the chance. Oh, he's had a crack. It's a sign of better things to come. And hits it. Goodness me, it's hit the post. Here's a corner. Shot's on him. Looked a bit crack. Got room here. It's a chance. Oh! Taking the chance beautifully. But uh, he needs to ask some questions of his defenders. What a wonderful goal. He really gets the chance. He makes full use of that opportunity with a wonderful touch. And as for the finish, well, there was no. What a chance here. He's got to go. Seems to give. Could it be? Oh, he didn't hit the middle of the ball there, and he, and he goes for goal with his head. There's still a chance. That's a difficulty. Chance for it. In with a chance. And he goes for goal. That's no problem to the goal. This is the chance. Oh! A decisive save. Well done. The US Open Cup. The main cup competition here in the United States. And what a win, Alan Smith. What a win. From 1 to 11. They all played well, those boys out there, and it doesn't often happen that way, particularly on big occasions like this. Well, they've been very low key in the build up, and <laughs> they're anything but low key here, and why not? Play step for the souvenirs. Small trinkets, really, but they mean so much. Well, there's only so many trophies on offer during the course of the season. That's why it does mean so much for any footballer to be in this position, to, to be on that podium. Wonderful stuff. Such a fantastic feeling to win any football match, but to win one and there's major silverware at stake. Uh, almost defies description. I think they'd be delighted as well, Martin. In fact, they played well over the course of the final, that 90 minutes when they really did have to show what they've got. They responded to the challenge, and that makes it all the more satisfying. Well, it's quite a scene here. Suddenly, having looked 
tired towards the end of the game. They found remarkable energy. Yeah, they'll keep going all night now, I'm sure of that. The adrenaline will be pumping. Great team, great result. it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot block shot loose ball great play he shoots from outside defense being showcased here against that head kick oh another knockdown he just cracked him was very dominant in this game that boxing background oh man the book on this match i need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was simply amazing <laughs>